Sarah, would you comment, though, directly on this question of really the point Gail made of drawdown and what's at risk? Because you had right. previously right. supported the withdrawal of U.S. forces. I still do. And I do because I don't think this is a military question. And I think the argument, for example, in Iraq, which says Iraq, you know, kind of a third of Iraq fell to ISIS because U.S. troops were drawn down, I don't think that's accurate. The real issue was there were U.S. officials in Baghdad who were sitting on Maliki's head at the time, Prime Minister Maliki's head, preventing him from really wiring up his kleptocratic network on, you know, to benefit his, his little little cronies. And so I actually think the issue here is not a military issue. I mean, look at, look at Iraq and look at Afghanistan after 15 years. If our troops have not been able to hold the line on this, it's because the issue is not one that can be solved militarily. So what I would say is what we need in Afghanistan is not more troops or for troops to stay, but is a really serious multi-stakeholder peace process, not Taliban Afghan government peace process, but multi stakeholder community leaders, what is going wrong with the way this government is functioning? That's what I think would be needed. 